So Ms. Gallopo, how many people come into your office every school year that need to talk about either their depression or they're worried about someone else being very depressed? This is a rough estimate, but I would say between 40 and 50 kids come in every year. Um, some are temporary situational things that happen with their f- their friends or their families. Others are ongoing that's been going on for a while and will continue to go on. But I- I'm guessing about 40 to 50. Ms. Gallopo, what type of resources do we have at our school for people who are depressed? There's a number of things we have available. First, kids can come to their counselors. Uh, We are mental health professionals, and so we do a lot of counseling with kids with anxiety and depression. We also have a Carver County therapist who comes into our building two days a week and works with kids. Uh, We have another social worker and another therapist in um, the Unique Learners Department who can also work with students who have illness or depression. We do a lot of referrals in the building, so we might start talking to kids, but then we refer the families for continued outside counseling, so we do a lot of that. What type of tips would you give people who see people who are depressed or if they are depressed themselves? You know, depression is sometimes kind of funny because people always think that if you're, if you have depression, that you're walking around sad all the time, and that's not necessarily the case. Um, depression is where you're you're physically unable to function. You're physically unable to think the way you normally do. You're unable to to sleep or eat the way you normally do. You're unable to um, to work in school the way you normally do, or work at at your job the way you normally do, and. So if that's if that's a temporary thing, if that happens for one or two weeks, you know, it's probably just something that you're worried about. But if it happens for a long time, if it's going on for several weeks or even longer than that, where you're just not feeling good about things, you can't figure out what's going on, you don't feel good about yourself for a long period of time, that's, that's when it's depression. And that's when somebody with professional skills has to be involved to help people. So some of the tips I would say is, you know, be looking at your behavior. If something has been going on for you and and doesn't feel good or doesn't feel right for a long time, please talk to somebody. Come and see your counselor, talk to your doctor, talk to your parents, talk to somebody and say, something is wrong and I think I need some help. Um, Another tip is you might see it in somebody else, but you don't see it in yourself. So we have a lot of kids who come in and they'll say, I'm really worried about my friend. And they'll say, this is why I'm worried about my friend. So... You know, use your friends, use your family as your kind of barometer. If they're commenting on things like saying you really look tired, or if they're saying you don't look healthy, or you look sad all the time, then that's something that you should be looking at, that that, that, that somebody else is noticing that there's something going on with you that maybe you haven't even noticed yet. And so then again, find somebody who can help you. Find Talk to your doctor, talk to your counselor, talk to a teacher, talk to somebody you trust, but talk to somebody. Don't keep it inside. That's the big thing is, is just to talk about it and get it out there and look for somebody who will support you in, in getting some help. I think that it seems like certainly school is a reflection of society and we're all getting more stressed out. Um, spending more time on technology, not getting as good a sleep. So yes, mental illness and depression is showing up, I think, more every year. In fact, I have a group of cat kids, and we were talking to the middle school eighth graders, and we've done this for years, and one girl raised her hand and said, how do you guys handle stress? And that was real shocking to me. So um, that makes me think that it's already showing up in the middle schools now. So. Yes, and then the depression um, seems to be getting stronger as well. For this part of the video, I thought I would interview someone who has depression um, and who may have a mental illness. Um, and I thought no greater person, there'd be no greater person to interview than myself. So for this part of the uh, movie, I will be telling my story uh, about what life is like with depression. First thing I want to say is that if any of you, if anybody out there is depressed or they're having a real tough time, um, I want to tell you that you're loved by so many people and that you're not alone. 
you're truly not alone. And if you need help, talk to a counselor, a friend, a relative, go see a therapist, someone you could talk to. Please just go talk to someone if you were depressed or suicidal. Okay, so for my story, um, I was bullied in the sixth grade and that really dramatically changed who I was. The bully would always shove me into a locker and tell me I'm worthless. Um, and I grew major after, he did that for a year and I grew major um, depression and anxiety and even suicidal thoughts. Throughout the years, I would attempt to uh, commit suicide a few times. I've, it's just terrible. But through that, I found strength. Uh, that's bullshit. In the 11th grade, I was diagnosed with dysthymic depression. I regularly take a daily pill once a day for medication for depression. And I can say personally, it has helped me so much and it's helped, help, it, it's hel it, it helps, uh, my meds help boost my serotonin levels. Um, and it really has helped me emotionally. Um, I'm not depressed anymore. I'm way more confident in myself. Um, lastly, I want to say that living with depression was very tough. And I've really, it really has shaped me uh, for who I am today, how I view thing, uh, how I view the world and how I view uh, different things that I see going on. Um, and I want you to know that if you are depressed and you are sad and you feel like there's no way out, that you're not alone and that you truly are a lovely person and you should always value your